Okay, hey guys, it's AKP Studios here. Um, I have a tutorial on how to do the lightsaber effect in, um, where is it? This lightsaber effect. Um, now, it's pretty simple. As long as I remember how to do it. <laughs> I just remember it didn't take that long, so I'll probably be able to remember how to do it. So, get your raw footage, drag it on into After Effects. Uh, 134 subscribers, hopefully 135 by the time you guys are watching this, or more. So, that's awesome, guys. All right. Okay. So this was made before I had my new ca whoa. What's going on there? Here. What the heck? All right, wait. One second. One second. One second. Okay. Well, for some reason this footage just really isn't looking that good. So I guess maybe I'm just not used to it because I'm using the Canon now. This is on my Panasonic before I switched. So, okay. Here we go. First, we want to add a new layer. Do salt. Oh, crap. Ignore any background noises. My family. Okay, new layer. Whoa, solid. Sorry, I just had some soda. Uh, make that solid a white. Okay. Now what you're going to want to do is mask this solid to Obi-Wan's or whoever you're using a lightsaber. So, like so. And I again apologize if there's any background noise. So, and then make it viewable. So now you know you kind of have a little rough of how oops, um, it's gonna look. So it's gonna annoy me. So delete that. Okay. So now you're going to want to mask. Uh, turn the timer on for whoever. Yeah, stopwatch on for mask path. So you have some um, keyframes. So when he moves up ever so slightly, and this is a process. It takes a long time, but this lightsaber effect does look pretty good. So every time he moves it, and I use 15 frames per second. So every 15, every second he moves is 15, 15 moves like in. Yeah, whatever. But it's worth it. Again, ignore any background noise if you can hear that. It's really obnoxious. I don't even know if you can hear it. And you might also want to turn down the opacity a bit so you can see what you're doing. <laughs> but uh, yeah. So I'll be right back when this is done. Okay, guys, I am back. Um, I decided not to do this whole scene because I figured that would be real pointless and uh, just too time-consuming. So basically what I animated so far was this. And, uh, yeah. So what you're going to want to do next is... Um, take... Okay, so you're going to want to... Oh yeah, 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 okay. Delete your base footage. Um, pull it into another composition. So you have this the base footage again. But go back to this composition. And once you have this footage, um, this is where 
you're going to want to start editing it and uh, yeah so first let's add a little Gaussian blur Oops. now first we're going to want to duplicate it um, five times probably enough so first of all first of all we're going to put Gaussian blur on all of them Oops. Here. One second. So that's all. Okay, so first one will have five percent blur. Second one and eh, ten percent. Third one will go fifteen. Um Fourth one will be twenty, and the sixth, fifth one. Sorry, will be twenty. Now let's go thirty. Let's. Um, yeah, it looks about right. I think. Uh, but yeah, then I'm trying to think. I kind of forgot how I added the color in. One second. One second here. Um. <laughs> Yeah, um, I'm trying to think one second. Okay, guys, so, um, I just looked back and I made a mistake. So, before you, um, well, I know you probably added the Gaussian blur onto your, 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 um, your lightsaber footage already. Um, before you add anything else, just undo that. Because what we're really going to do is make the first layer, we're going to feather it to 5. The second one, 10. Yeah, that sounds about right. Next one, 30. So, push that up a bit. 30. Next one, we'll go 60. That's 80. Um, and then 120 for the next one. And then the last one we'll do 240, which is a big one. Actually, he's trying to. Sorry, I think maybe we should just get rid of that light. Um, no, it'll be fine. So. Now we have this lightsaber footage. All right. Now, let's go back to this, to this, this footage right here, and uh, bring the lightsaber footage up on top of it. So now you can see he has. Oh, well, it stops right there. But now you can see he has a uh, lightsaber. So let's cut off. So it stops playing. Okay, so you can now see that his lights are no color. That is because we haven't added anything. It's white. So what we need to do is go to color. Here I'll do it again. Color ban color balance. Um, just look that up and click on that for the lightsaber. So whatever color we want to make it, we can make it start to make it a bit red. Um, um, maybe not actually, um, I know what I did wrong, <laughs> uh, every time, this, I actually did this wrong, I remember the first time I made this, so we're gonna go layer on the, um, the, uh, the lightsaber effect, we're gonna make a black solid pop that under all of them so it's still there go back to this one and you could see that it's red so we're gonna turn that down a bit um, the red and we're gonna keep it red but 
So now we're going to, I, I don't know if you guys have to, toggle switches and modes and uh, go to screen. So now, you know. And once again, I was interrupted. So now we have this, but you know, he's a. Uh, He's Obi Wan Kenobi, so we'll uh, make him blue because he's a good guy. So we can make it really blue. You know, we could even we could you know we could we you could really mess around with what the color of his lightsaber, how you want it to look. Um, you know, but uh, you know that that that's pretty good. I mean. Honestly, I don't think you're gonna, you don't, you don't, don't need that last, um, this last one, this last layer right here. Let's see how it looks without that. See? It looks fine, but, um, wait, did I not even, oh, well, maybe I didn't do, get rid of it for the, whatever. Um, that's basically how you do it, and in the original one, I actually did add a reflection in the um, the wall. So basically, what I did, I duplicated the lightsaber layer. I sized it down to how big, or how well, you know, big it was. Oops, I guess I can't really do that in the in the reflection. I don't know I didn't do that. I yeah, so I did that. Sized it size got sized it down. Put it on top of that lightsaber footage back there. Okay, once again I was interrupted. So this footage right here. Blur. You don't wanna I wanna do that. Gaussian blur that thing. <laughs> um I don't know. However, whatever it looks best. You might actually want to scale it up so it doesn't look weird and cut off like that. But yeah. Um, basically, that looks good. You can turn down the opacity for that by, oops, going to transform. And uh, yeah. So, there you basically have it. And uh, obviously, as you can see, if I go frame by frame, it doesn't really go with the motions of the lightsaber. But when, see right here, in the in the reflection, right, I'm talking about, see right here how it's not really spot on with the lightsaber. But, I mean, you could really, you know, do that and try and fix it, but that would be kind of a waste of time. And I'm pretty sure when people are watching the video, they're not staring at the reflection they're mostly watching the character and the reflection adds just a cool effect um, then you could go curves here let's do this pre-comp this go uh, select all of them layer and then pre-compose okay and uh, they're all it's all one layer now so I'm gonna add curves on there you know I can adjust brightness um, make it look better um, another technique I've been using it's not going to turn out as well because this camera's really low quality is wiggle position I'm giving you guys all my secrets wiggle position right here and uh, it adds that motion blur or not the motion blur the camera movement but honestly yeah, that's about it. So, I will see you guys later. Remember to subscribe and uh, like and comment on this video. I'll see you guys later. This is 15, almost 15 minutes long. Have a good one and goodbye.